Our concept at the New York Distilling Company is to be purposefully different. So we are, in our own approach, attempting to distill products and market products that add to the conversation of the categories that they're entering. The first thing uh, I tell people when they ask what I do is that I'm, I'm a burgeoning distiller. Uh, we're a young company. We're very excited about the prospects of simply creating something from scratch, of producing something. In our minds, creating our own destiny by the decisions and the choices we make now. These are virgin oak barrels. They've been charred uh, for us to the technical char number three uh, out of four. Uh, and uh, everyone's favorite question is, when will it be ready? And our stock answer is, when it's ready. We knew for certain that we would be in New York City. Many people asked if somehow we were not able to create a distilling operation here, would we do it elsewhere? We consistently said no to ourselves because we love living here. This is where we work. It's where our, our family lives are. And that overrode the sensibility, frankly, of the distilling operation. Our first product, if you will, a lead product, is Perry's Tot Navy Strength Gin. Navy Strength refers to an otherwise overproof gin, a gin that at American proof is 114. Most people are not familiar uh, with that high proof gin in particular, but following very frankly certain trends of the day from a cocktail standpoint, there's been a wonderful popularity of using overproof spirits to bring more character or depth of flavor to cocktails. This is the 700 Songs Gimlet. It uses Perry's Tot, our Navy Strength Gin. And we start with an ounce and a half. Three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. Half an ounce of simple syrup. A quarter of an ounce of homemade cinnamon syrup. A scant dash of Bitterman's Hellfire Bitters. A wonderful little habanero finish, but it's very subtle at the end. And we'll just shake this over ice. And frankly, more refreshing and delicious a cocktail I've not had in some time.